It's hardly even used anymore, but today Justin Trudeau was forced to admit there were big problems with the making of the Arrive Can app. This is uh, a practice that seems highly uh, illogical and uh, inefficient, and uh, I have made sure that the uh, Clerk of the Privy Council is looking into procurement practices to make sure uh, that we're getting value for money. The Globe and Mail reported this morning that in 2020, the federal government hired a two-person staffing firm called GC Strategies. It in turn hired six other companies to build the app. ArriveCan allowed travelers entering Canada to disclose vaccination status and other pandemic-related information. The government came to us and asked us to put together a team to help them carry out their okay. COVID objectives. GC Strategies wasn't talking today, but in the fall it was called before a parliamentary committee looking into the usefulness of the app. The company said it billed about 9 million of the 54 million the government is known to have spent on ArriveCan. Every individual we use was approved, government security clearances were verified, and given their specific tasks and deliverables by the government. Today, the Globe said documents it's seen show the other six companies were paid $8.3 million in total to develop the app. I find it unconscionable that this was farmed out in this way. The NDP said the project did not need a middleman to hire the other firms, and the Prime Minister should have been aware of what was going on. I think it's illogical to accept that he didn't know more details around this particular file. None of the companies hired by GC Strategies responded to our request for comment. The ArriveCan app still exists, but it's no longer mandatory. Fewer than one in five travelers used it during the month of October when it was made optional. Rafi Bujikani on CBC News, Ottawa.